you have a back pain because your core is weak how can we assume the back pain because of the core weakness did you test the core what is the evidence behind core testing or we are just making assumptions in a clinic you have a back pain because you have a faulty occupational posture well we know the research is that whether the awkward faulty occupational posture causes low back pain or not you have back pain because you have a disc bulge well what is the grade or whether the patient requires a surgical requirement or not well we all discuss these myths and movements in our lumbar spine course along with well your lumbar lordosis is reduced or increased well there has to be a reason for that how do you check the movement system impairments for the lumbar spine so breaking all the myths and discussing about the evidence based assessment and management in our upcoming lumbar spine course where i would be joined by dr abhishek vesh low back pain sciatica this prolapse you all have heard these conditions before but do we really know when to operate and when to not operate so that is a pressing question uh, it is not a straight question like a spine so i'm going to discuss crisp algorithms when to operate when not to operate when you can get away with just doing some exercises or lifestyle modifications the orthopedic surgeon in helping the people and the allied healthcare professionals in knowing what are the surgical criteria for lumbar spine and how you assess and treat the lumbar spine with a lot of management treatment manipulation muscle energy soft tissue and proper evidence based exercise prescription so please come and join us at isoms upcoming lumbar spine certification course the hidden secrets of low back pain part 2 i hope to see you guys there i am dr parijat kumar co-founder of international sports and orthopedic physiotherapy i welcome you all to join our next upcoming course thank you